Hello everyone, it's Teresa, and today's video I'm going to be unboxing, well, it's not really a box, it's a bag, opening my May 2016 Ipsy bag. The thing that I love about watching these is that Ipsy has such a variety that it allows for everyone to get different things, it seems like, well, quite the variety, and so it's kind of cool how everyone gets something a little different based on their preferences. I have not opened this. It's been sealed. I've been saving it to open in front of the camera um, because when, last year, I know I haven't uploaded it on my channel for over a year, but last year when I made videos as well, these videos you guys seem to like, so I thought why not do it again. Um, so I resubscribed Ipsy a few months ago and I've been really liking it. So let's see. Ooh, the theme is Destination. Yes, destination chic. It looks very fancy. There are girls in fancy retro outfits. Oh, cute! Okay, so I can see they're going like that kind of travel destination theme. There are little, there's an, let's see. I saw an elephant on here. I'm trying to see it again. Oh yeah, see, there's a little elephant. There's the Statue of Liberty. There's that Jesus statue that I believe is in Brazil. Don't hate me if I'm wrong. Um, just different travel things. Oh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And the thing that I love about this is it's like a little envelope. I don't have any bags like this. They all are zippers. So this is super cute. I love this. I will definitely use this. Okay. Let me make sure I got everything out. Yep, sometimes if there's a bigger item that doesn't fit in the bag, they'll stick it in here. Okay. The first thing that's in my bag is, ooh, a brush, an eyeshadow brush. I have filled out on my profile that I like to get tools, so I frequently get different brushes and things like that. I love the purple on this one. It feels very soft. It's by Vera Mona. I have never heard of that brand, but the cool thing is I can try out new brands with Ipsy. But it looks like an eyeshadow. It looks like an eyeshadow brush, and I will definitely use this. It's very soft, and um, I love the little purple on it. Then I got by the Santi, I believe it's pronounced. I guess I've never heard of that brand either. Um, it is a, the Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator Exfoliating Cleanser, enriched with papaya. Microcrystals and aloe. Fancy. I'll show it to you. Here it is. It has a nice smell, doesn't have any specific scent to it or anything. This looks really pretty. Um, this is a lip gloss by Glamour Dolls. It is called the Gloss Snob. I don't know if I, I'm not a gloss snob, I don't really care, I'll wear anything, but if it's good enough for a gloss snob, then I guess it's good enough for me. <laughs> this is, I'm trying to see if it has a color, oh, it's in twirl. I'll try and give it a more of a close-up. It's a really pretty kind of bubblegum pink, and I love colors like this. This is the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara Volumator. Ooh. Scandalous, it's x-rated. Let's see the brush. It looks like, yes, like a very volumizing brush. You know, look at that there. Why don't we, why don't we try it? Let's use the viewfinder. Oh, and I just got some on my eye. Don't put your makeup on in a camera, kids. Ooh, look at that volume. So compared to my other eye, it looks more voluminous. So um, I guess it does as promised. Oh gosh, I like poke my contact. Really as x-rated, it's very dangerous. Oh, come <laughs> It did volumize as promised. Looks like I've gotten another exfoliating treatment. This is the 
Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. So it's a mask. This is a mask and this is a cleanser. So two new exfoliating things to try out. That is all that was in my bag. So for $10, we'll just recap here. I got a bag, a brush, a lip gloss, <laughs> a volumator. <laughs> I usually don't call it that, but that's what it says on the thing. I'm not making up words here. An exfoliating cleanser and an exfoliating mask. So for $10, that is a pretty good deal. Well, I just realized <laughs> that that's just a fancy way of saying volumizing mascara. <laughs> Overall, I'm very happy with this month's bag for Ipsy. Um, I will definitely use and try everything that is in the bag in past months. Sometimes I don't like everything that's in there, but this month I would definitely give this bag a thumbs up. Did you get anything similar to me in your Ipsy bag? If you get Ipsy, I want to know. Let me know what you think, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.